What's up guys? Welcome back to another character breakdown and we are breaking down the latest character Diddy Kong. Now we weren't given a trailer or any kind of big announcement for him but he got his own page and he's got a couple of screenshots that kind of show that he's going to be a little different this time. The most obvious being that he seems to have more reach on his attacks. In the old game he'd kind of be an in-your-face character. He wouldn't have that good of range on his attacks. This time everything seems to change. We see his forward tilt A has a lot more range and I'm okay with this change it might not be that his smash attacks have this range it might be that his his tilt moves have range so for example his forward a would have this range and then his we see his up a his up a tilt has quite a bit of range as well comparing it to little Mac so I think that's what they'll do I think they'll increase the range on his uh, tilt tilt attacks his tilt a attacks and I think they'll keep his smash attacks the same. We also he see his recovery is returning with the barrels. And they seem to have more horizontal range as well. So when you try to recover, you'll be able to recover pretty easily more horizontally. I found with Brawl that that never was a problem. You could always kind of recover. You wouldn't really need more horizontal range. So I'm not too sure if this change will make his recovery even easier to get back on the stage. Since Diddy's up B was pretty good in the other game. If you time if you kept your extra jump and you timed it right, you could really get back from any kind of hit. We also see his uh, peanut guns returning, and it seems that if you charge it for too long, it'll explode like it did last time. The explosion looks a lot more dramatic. And again, we see examples of the facial animation and the expressions each character has. And it's just great. Every picture we're seeing with different characters just show like how expressive they are. Here we see another classic taunt where he just throws up his hat. And it's just a little thing, but I hope they get a taunt where he gets the boom box and flips his hat backwards like he does when he finishes level in, in Donkey Kong Country 2. That'd be kind of a cool thing to add. And here's another taunt where he's just clapping his hands in place. And we kind of see something interesting. We kind of see... Uh, maybe an homage to the fact that his banana peel move is back. And I have had a big problem with this move in the other game. I really think it was overpowered and really cheap. This could be just the addition of the banana peel coming back. But if he has that move again where he can summon two bananas and make everyone slip, I think they should try a different tactic to make it more balanced. One way I could see it being balanced is maybe that he only throws one banana instead of just two. And he would throw it and it would be on the stage for a limited amount of time, even shorter than it was before. This is coming from a guy that lost his pools in the tournament by a guy who just spammed Diddy Bananas and I literally couldn't move. So I think they need to rethink how they want that move. So I hope they rethink this move. If it's back at all, maybe they'll replace it. But if they bring it back, I would like to see it changed a lot. So aside those little things, there's not really much else to say about Diddy. He looks like he is changing. The reach on his normal attacks seem to, you know, give him a little bit more of an edge and make him very different than he was before. So overall, I'm glad to see him back. I'm glad to see he's back in. I played a good amount of Diddy in Brawl, so it'd be really interesting to see how his playstyle evolves in this next game. So thank you for watching this video and subscribe if you want to see more Smash videos coming up toward the release of Smash 4. And leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.